What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of... No, I am not quitting FIFA. I feel like I need to start every video with that. Let me just say, uh, I'll be the first to say this, I'm 100% sure. Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year and a Happy Holidays to all of you celebrating in the world. No, but really, Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy All Your Seasons and uh, Happy New Year is the main thing. With a new year... There's a, I always like the new year because I feel like it's a fresh start and I have this weird thing in my head where I only like things from the beginning. Like if I'm in a situation like a math problem and I get stuck halfway through, I could probably figure out my way from that point. But for whatever reason, I always start from the beginning, which usually means I strengthen that first part of it really well. And then the second half, I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I failed math. But with the new year, I'm sure you all have your resolutions. I in my own head, I have my own New Year's revolutions, and I'm going to overthrow the uh, the government of Antarctica. But what this whole video is about is my actual New Year's resolution, which is not that. Um, and it's sort of a resolution that I've had every year of my entire life, like I'm almost certain most of you have had as well. And that is to get in better shape. Um, wow, I, I'm really throwing myself out there, aren't I? Now, it's a thing that I've mentioned in the past before. But it's not something that I've really documented. The only thing I can think of is in like 2016, I think, um, I told you guys while I was doing my Bronze to Glory series, I was like, I'm going to make sure that I run one mile every day. And as I go, I'm going to add a mile. So let's say on Monday I ran one mile. Then Tuesday I would do two miles. Wednesday, three miles. You see where I'm going. By the end of the month, I would be a triathlete. So needless to say, that didn't pan out. And I think I quit before a week was up um, and that did teach me something like the I always do these things and I start something and I never finish it but it teaches me things to not do like such lofty expectations when I can't run the real reason why I'm doing this in video form is not to flex on you guys although I should flex because of have, have you seen this shirt it's so white but the real reason is because last time I did something like this where um, I documented my fitness I actually stuck to it for the longest period of time I've ever done it. This was in summer of 2019, you probably saw those videos, uh, when I had no FIFA to rely on, and I was like, well, I might as well try to get in shape because I'm going to the beach in a month. <laughs> and so for a whole month, you can see that I didn't document it every day like I kind of wanted to, but I did document it there. And also um, in the Discord, which I'm going to mention more later, but it's a Discord where you guys are there and we have different channels, one being a fitness channel, and we basically talk about fitness, or at least we did, because it's kind of been inactive for a while. But anyway, for a whole month, uh, I was actually not eating any dessert at all. I was watching what I was eating in the in terms of like counting calories to that point, getting my macros correct, because I've always kind of been health conscious about what I'm eating, but never to the point where I'm like counting stuff, because that seems like too much work and I'm lazy. But yeah, I got, I think I was around 170 pounds, 175 pounds. Um, and I dropped all the way to like 162 or 163 and I have this photo where it seems that I have ab muscles Although it's probably the lighting, but maybe not. But anyway that I felt pretty good there. The one thing was um, I had been watching a lot of Mike Thurston videos He's like this UK bodybuilder and he talks a lot about just how to properly diet and exercise And his videos are great. You should probably watch them instead of mine if you're interested in actually learning something um, but what he mentioned was it's probably better to bulk up first as in gain muscle and a little bit of fat goes along with that and then cut and you're going to lose some of your muscle as you cut but that's just how it works. At the end of the day you're going to show off the majority of those muscles that you've gained and you'll look better toned. So I, I think I looked okay and that was kind of the point but also the point was I wanted to get better cardio because I've never really had good cardio. Um, and that I did achieve that to give you one little antidote at the at the beach I went on the treadmill and I ran like a seven minute mile which isn't that fast but um, I ran it really easily and I think I probably could have done like a six minute 30 mile which would have been my best time ever uh, I just didn't do that because lazy so from that I learned that I should have first bulked up and then cut so that the storyline or the timeline is I cut uh, from June until the end of, well, it's the end of June until the end of July, early August. And then what happened was I got a gym membership in early September. And so from September until 
probably the end of October, even like maybe before Thanksgiving. So mid to late November, I was going to the gym four times a week. And like, I actually, I got not jacked. I'm not jacked, but I got pretty muscular for what I am, which is a small little boy. I had never really gone to the gym that frequently and like tracked my numbers, but I, I'd yet again, I did because I kind of knew, Hey, I'm putting this in the discord. I actually have people who you're not like dependent upon me, but if I fail, it feels bad for me because if I'm just failing myself, whatever, I can brush that off. But if I'm failing myself and then I'm failing you guys, then that actually gives me more incentive to not do that because that makes me feel bad. Anyway, this all brings us to today, which is January 1st, 2020. Um, so, you know, I kind of skipped a whole month because Thanksgiving and then leading up to Christmas, um, I kind of stopped going to the gym a little bit. I mean, I sort of did, but not nearly as frequently as what I had been doing and what I really should have been doing. Uh, but let me just give you some numbers to try to explain like the amount that I started to be able to lift from going pretty much every day. Now I'm not trying to, this is not a flex because it's not a flex at all. I'm just merely trying to give you the numbers so then you have a baseline of like where I am and what I might lose or what I might increase. So bench press I'll probably just give you maxes, although not all these have been maxed out. Like I don't have a, I don't train. I'm not Manchester City. I don't have a bunch of people giving me all these numbers and keeping track. But anyway, bench press, my max is probably like 190 pounds, 195 pounds, which is pretty good for me because I'm not that strong. Squat, uh, I didn't actually max out, but I probably could have done like 275, which yet again, pretty good for me. That, that might be a little bit inflated. I'm not exactly sure. Um, deadlift, actually, I surprised myself because this is the most I've ever done in my life. I think I did 255, which hurt my back, and then I decided I should probably not do that much. And those are the main things that I can think of, but I, I did a bunch of other, like, isolated exercises, like bicep curls and stuff. I actually start, I was able to curl 35 pounds, uh, doing three sets of eight, which is the first time I've ever done that. I, I always was maxed out at 20 pounds doing, like, a set of 10 or maybe two sets of 10. So really, I just going to the gym only for 30 to 45 minutes during my lunch break from work, uh, because I was going three to four times every week, it was actually helped a lot. But um, I, unlike during the period from the end of June until the end of July, early August, I wasn't really watching what I was eating because in my head, I was like, nah, bro, it's bulk season, hashtag we eaten. Which, uh, that does make sense, but also I probably should have taken a little bit more care of my body in terms of what I was eating and putting into it. Um, and Popeye's chicken sandwiches are not as good as sweet potatoes. This, <laughs> today, probably two hours ago, um, I stepped on the scale because I thought this is a video that I was going to make and hopefully a series if I actually keep to it. And I weigh 180 pounds, which is, I think, the most I've ever weighed in my entire life. I don't feel that bad, but then when I was doing some soccer videos and, like, actually running and doing sprinting, doing sprints, I realized that I'm kind of out of shape uh, in terms of my cardio. Like, it's probably the strongest I've ever been, but I'd like to have a better balance of being strong and also toned and kind of having cardio. Another thing I want to quickly mention, and this is a little bit of a sidebar, is this is a kind of video series and a video that I've always wanted to do. Basically, I really like when you do series where you start at one point and build towards something else. That's why I like Bronze to Glory, because you saw the progression of the team over time. That's why I like Ultimate Team Road to Glories. That's why I like career mode stuff. But the thing is with this, I don't want to give you guys like bad, I don't want to give you bad videos. But that's also a New Year's resolution of mine, is to stop caring about the quality of my videos. Now that sentence alone, you probably think, well, I don't want to just see you like pooping. Well, I don't know, maybe you do. But I have to understand that I am not like a giant YouTuber. And also YouTubers, for the most part, they aren't making like incredible movie quality videos for the most part, because you're doing something every day and most people are just by themselves. I can't expect to have something that looks great sounds great. I spend a lot of time doing it because I don't have that much time to do it. I just have to realize that. Hopefully you guys don't hate these crappy videos because that's what I think of them as. They're just like not the most well-produced. 
but at least there's a story behind it and hopefully that can carry it forward to the point where it's not a bad video and you actually enjoy it. So the goal, uh, the objective, because I feel like it's always important to have an objective, especially in terms of fitness, uh, is to cut down to 165 pounds. Now, I don't really care too much about the pound figure. I'm just giving myself a specific goal. I would like, I'm definitely have to get back to 170 at the worst because 180 pounds, I just feel, I feel so heavy. I don't want to lose all the muscle mass that I gained. So I'm still going to be going to the gym and doing bench press, but I'm not going to max it out. Sort of like Rob Gronkowski, if you're familiar with him, he retired from football and now he just drinks a lot of juice and he's still really toned and ripped but he doesn't max out every time. He does like stretching and yoga and Pilates and stuff like that. And I think I'm not gonna do that, but I should. And I might, but maybe not. Anyway, if you wanna join this, uh, go to the Discord. It's gonna be down in the description below and we can all do a New Year's revolution together. To just give you an idea of what I did today, um, I just went on the rowing machine for 30 minutes while watching River Monsters because that's a great show. And I don't personally believe that rowing machines are the greatest. I'm doing it because I just have, I happen to have a rowing machine. I don't have a treadmill, which I would prefer. I don't have a bike, which I would prefer. Um, and I, it's, it's too hard to record. Like if I go jump, do jump rope outside in the dark, I mean, maybe I could do that. So I did that for 30 minutes and I'm also, I'm wearing this, uh, like garbage suit kind of that I bought on Amazon and it traps all the body heat inside. So I just started to sweat just profusely even though it's pretty cold like it gets really toasty in there to the point where this kind of strenuous but not so strenuous exercise of rowing on like a $50 cheap rowing machine I got really lightheaded like 17 minutes in not because it was super difficult but because it was so hot and I I thought I was gonna throw up so I did that for 30 minutes it's pretty difficult um, you can see like the calories and the distance I don't know if that's completely accurate, so I'm not going to just swear by that. The time is something that I can swear by because it was 30 minutes and I can count. Then after that, I ran, which I think is the main thing I need to do. Just doing more running, which I hate and I never want to have to do, but I need to do it. Um, I ran and went about probably a mile, maybe a mile and a quarter. I actually felt really good, much better than I've ever felt in my entire life. That's a lie. I felt much better than I did while I was doing the rowing machine, which kind of surprised me because I thought it would be the reverse. I thought I would be all right on the rowing machine and then I would hate running. Uh, but this also, this I need to make this a podcast because I keep rambling. I don't want to give off the impression that I have really bad mental health problems because that's something very serious. And certainly, like, I have down days. I think that's just normal for everyone. But what I notice and what I love about fitness is it gets me out of those moods. Like right now on this podcast, this is something I've mentioned before. This isn't a podcast, but I've mentioned before on a podcast. Whenever I run, I just, I'm able to do videos like this and talk for a continuous amount of time without getting like really self-conscious and like second guessing everything I say. I, and it's only because I've like worn down my brain to the point where I'm not worried about everything I'm saying. It's a mode that I've tried to achieve multiple times doing different methods and nothing else seems to work except for just running. Like just getting to the point where I'm so tired is the only thing that seems to do this. So maybe you want to do a new year's resolution and get fit because you want to just look better. Or maybe you just want to change in your life, which is kind of me. I'm both parts. Uh, so please join the discord. We can keep track. If we all push each other, then we're going to be more incentivized to actually do something instead of starting a new year's resolution for like a week and then quitting it. So I'm, dependent upon you all as much as you are on me uh, and hopefully we can actually do something kind of cool anyway that is going to do it um, if this gets enough traction i will buy a gopro and then i'll run a marathon that's actually another video idea i had uh running a marathon with no training lt hashtag yolo thank you all as always i have not quit fifa i will post a video whenever i feel like there's a player that needs to be reviewed i will see you all then and as always, don't forget to spay your pets. Maybe this should be a podcast. Hey!